Hey guys, it's Steph here with Crafty Ladybug. This lesson's going to be on our loomless bee that I have turned into a ring. There are a couple different steps that we need to do to make it a loomless ring, which is different from the loomless bee that we I previously have on my channel. So pay close attention because it is just slightly different. A major difference in this lesson will be on my loomless bee, I did a iridescent band for the wings. You're going to need two bands for the wings. Today I'm using white, or you can also use blue. So you need to choose your wing color. Let's start the lesson off with me telling you that you're going to need eight black bands, six yellow bands, and two bands in the colors of your wing. If you'd like to follow along easier with my lesson, lay your bands out as here. Two black, three yellow, two black, three black, three yellow, one black and two white I'm using for my wings today. If you also do this bee and you want to Instagram me, hashtag CLB cute bee and I will see your creations. Let's begin our little bee. We're going to start with his little bum area. You're going to take your hook, a single black band, and you're going to wrap it around your hook three times. One, two, and three. So it appears that there are three bands on your hook. Your next black band will be the same situation. One, two, and three. So that there looks like there are three bands on your hook. The next step is to take your three yellow bands and pull through. When all of these black ones moved into the center of that yellow. And we're going to reclaim the yellow bands back on our hook. Our next step is to take two black bands and just place those on our hook, trying to move them into the center of the yellow. Take three black bands, one, two, and three and you're going to pull that through everything that you have on your hook. And reclaim. When you reclaim, you just kind of want to check and make sure that these bands are dangling in the same direction. Next step will be to take our three yellows and pull through. and reclaim again. Our single black band is going to be our tie off and our antenna that gets pulled through, reclaimed, and then you will slip knot it off to form the antenna and just pull that tight. We will trim this in a little bit. You wanna make sure that your bands are dangling in one direction. We're about to add the wings next. You wanna flip your bug over and you wanna reach into this black piece and you wanna get these two black bands that are underneath. So you wanna reach in and grab those two bands and pull that up through a little bit. So you've found your black bands that you have down here on your finger on your hook. And then we are just going to attach our wings by pulling it through our hook. Reclaim our white. And we're going to slip knot off our white wings inside those rubber bands. Now for the fun part. Take your rubber bands down at the bottom Pull those through, straighten it up a little bit, spread your wings out, 
whichever way you feel comfortable. You'll have to fiddle with your wings a little bit. Get those spread out. And as you tighten it up, your wings are being pulled through your body. And then just slide it on your finger. And you've got a cute little ladybug. I'm sorry, cute little bumblebee. Still thinking I'm making a ladybug today. Cute little bumblebee. And all you have to do is cut off your antenna with a pair of scissors. And there we've got an adorable little bumblebee ring. How cute is that? So let me see your buzz. Post it on hashtag CLB cute bug if you're using Instagram and I will see those. You can also um, post a photo on my Facebook at crafty ladybug dash rainbow loom creations or my website www.craftyladybugcreations.com. I hope to see what you guys got the buzz about. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Have fun.